the bus heading home from work on a Monday afternoon, but this school crossing guard had another rough start to his day when his 6 a.m. bus was a no-show. My shame bus never comes. It comes every maybe twice, maybe three times out the, out the week. And that's a problem. It's hurting for me because, like I say, I have to walk a mile just to catch another bus. It's an issue that happens far too often for far too many riders. There just aren't enough bus drivers. My driver, he says to me, you know what, Anna, I came to work because no one else wanted to come. Well, there's a serious, serious issue when it comes to buses skipping because they don't have enough drivers. But now the city is trying to turn that around, offering coach operators more money. What if we offered $4,000 in bonuses, $1,000 a quarter, for any driver uh, who shows up for the normal work hours and uh, uh, does not have more than three unscheduled misses in a quarter. That would make the range of pay for drivers anywhere from $36,000 to nearly $50,000. It's a plan that's being praised by the drivers and riders alike. Riders and drivers are together in this as well. So I'm very pleased and I hope that this translates to way better service and frequency for riders across the city. The plan heads to city council for approval next. Councilman Fred Durhall III says the drivers deserve this. And they are on the front line every day. They have been there through COVID. And so today is a great day and a great announcement to let them know how much we appreciate them. Not only are they hoping this leads to fewer absences for the current bus drivers, they're hoping to hire a whole lot more. They have 90 positions open. We've been losing membership to SMART. We've been losing membership to Ann Arbor. And this will definitely help us to recruit, you know, to uh, bring some people on the payroll. We have budgeted a total of 510 drivers and we're short 90 drivers. So if we can get the operators on board and put this incentive in place, together you'll see a drastic change in the service. Riders say it can't happen soon enough, especially given gas prices at more than $5 a gallon. Taking the bus is a lot less expensive. Detroiters just need it to be reliable. If this works the way we hope, we will put out significantly more buses before the end of the year, upgrade the service to our passengers. We need more frequent service on a lot of the routes, uh, and we think this is a step in the right direction. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.